Air pollution has been one of China's most persistent and pressing environmental challenges. In the past decade, the country has made impressive strides in reducing pollution levels, shutting down outdated factories, implementing stricter emissions policies, and investing in renewable energy. However, despite these efforts, the skies over many Chinese cities still turn grey with smog, especially in winter. Cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou regularly experience poor air quality, with the air quality index frequently reaching unhealthy levels. In some cases, schools and businesses have been forced to shut down due to extreme smog events. While pollution levels have improved since their peak in the early 2010s, China is still far from achieving consistently clean air. To understand the magnitude of China's air pollution crisis, we need to look at the data. In 2013, when China declared a war on pollution, Beijing's average AQI was around 100 to 150, with frequent spikes into the hazardous range above 300. Some of the worst days saw AQI levels exceeding 500, so bad that it was referred to as air apocalypse. While things have improved since then, many cities still struggle with dangerously high levels of pollution. One of the biggest concerns is PM2, five pollution, tiny particulate matter that is 2.5 micrometers or smaller in diameter. These particles are so small that they can penetrate deep into the lungs and even enter the bloodstream, leading to serious health risks like respiratory infections, lung cancer, and cardiovascular disease. The World Health Organization considers an annual PM25 level above 5 micrograms per cubic meter unsafe. However, in many Chinese cities, PM25 levels still regularly exceed WHO recommendations. According to a recent study, nearly 90% of China's population is exposed to air pollution levels that exceed WHO guidelines. There are several key reasons why China continues to face air pollution problems. China is the world's largest consumer of coal, which still generates about 60% of its electricity. The country has been working to increase its use of renewable energy, but coal remains a cheap and reliable energy source. During the winter months, when temperatures drop in northern China, millions of homes rely on coal-fired heating systems. This leads to seasonal spikes in pollution, with emissions from coal plants mixing with car exhaust and industrial pollution to create thick smog. While China has pledged to phase out coal and reach carbon neutrality by 2060, progress has been slow. The government continues to approve new coal plants, arguing that energy security is more important than shutting down fossil fuels too quickly. China's rapid industrialization over the past 40 years has come at a significant environmental cost. The country is home to some of the largest manufacturing hubs in the world, producing everything from steel and cement to chemicals and electronics. While many old, highly polluting factories have been shut down, thousands of industrial plants still emit large amounts of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and other pollutants. Even though China has introduced stricter environmental regulations, enforcement remains inconsistent. Some companies find ways to avoid compliance, and others simply relocate their factories to regions with weaker regulations. China has over 300 million registered vehicles, making it the largest car market in the world. While electric vehicle adoption is rising rapidly, a large portion of cars on the road still run on gasoline and diesel, contributing significantly to urban air pollution. Older vehicles with outdated emissions controls are a major problem. Although the government has introduced strict emission standards, many older cars remain in use especially in smaller cities. Diesel trucks, which are widely used for logistics, are also significant contributors to PM2. 5. Pollution China's geography makes air pollution harder to control. Many of its largest cities, including Beijing, are surrounded by mountains, which trap pollution and prevent it from dispersing. During winter, a weather phenomenon known as temperature inversion occurs, where cold air gets trapped under a layer of warm air, effectively sealing pollution close to the ground. This makes air quality worse in many northern cities, particularly between November and February. Wind patterns also play a role. In some cases, pollution generated in one city or province can be carried to neighboring regions. This means that even if one city takes strict measures to reduce emissions, it can still suffer from pollution caused elsewhere. China has taken significant steps to address its air pollution crisis, and the results are visible. 
Since 2013, pollution levels have declined by nearly 40%, and several major cities have reported fewer extreme smog events. China is the world leader in renewable energy. The country has been rapidly expanding its solar and wind power capacity, investing hundreds of billions of dollars in clean energy projects. By 2030, China aims to have non-fossil fuels account for at least 25% of its energy mix. The Chinese government has been aggressively promoting EV adoption. Companies like BYD, NIO and Xpeng are leading the way, with China now accounting for more than half of the world's EV sales. The government offers generous subsidies and incentives for electric vehicle buyers and has built a vast network of charging stations. China has implemented some of the strictest emissions standards in the world, particularly for vehicles and factories. New industrial plants are required to use cleaner technology, and older, heavily polluting factories are being shut down. The government has also introduced low emission zones in major cities, restricting the use of older vehicles that fail to meet modern emission standards. China has undertaken one of the world's largest reforestation programs, planting billions of trees to absorb carbon dioxide and improve air quality. Additionally, sponge cities, urban areas designed to better manage pollution and rainfall, are being developed across the country. China is on the right track, but completely eliminating air pollution is a long-term challenge. The country's reliance on coal, rapid industrialization, and high population density make it difficult to transition to clean energy quickly. For China to achieve truly clean air, it will need to accelerate the transition to renewable energy and phase out coal faster, improve enforcement of environmental regulations to prevent industries from avoiding compliance, expand public transportation to reduce car dependency, continue investing in green technology and sustainable urban planning. While China's air is much cleaner than it was a decade ago, the fight against pollution is far from over. The decisions made in the next few years will determine whether China can achieve its goal of blue skies for all. What do you think? Can China balance economic growth with environmental protection? Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on China's battle with air pollution.